uh, hi all uh, today i'm going to discuss uh, a topic of uh, hypothesis so hypothesis is very important uh, in research uh, so there are uh, a lot of debates are going on regarding the hypothesis formulation by the researchers uh, in academics uh, there are discussions there are debates uh, so today i'm talking about uh, something like uh, uh, clarifications on these debates uh, so how can we set a hypothesis uh, okay so these hypotheses are uh, tentative assumptions about the future outcome of the research uh, there are uh, various methods of hypothesis generation like inductive and reductive method so hypothesis describes the cause and effect relationships so there is a tentative assumptions about the cause and effect relationships but how comes these assumptions derive so can we able to set an assumptions without backing up of theory or knowledge that's the question so do we make a statement uh, Uh, without considering the existing literature so there are uh, hypotheses set by the researchers that there is no significant association there is no significant relationship without considering the theories so there the theory clearly states that there is a relationship there is an association there is a difference then how can the research scholars can be able to say there is no significant association so they are setting the null hypothesis there are different type of hypothesis Uh, that you might be uh, studied uh, examined previously like null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis i am not going to this uh, null and alternative hypothesis but i am challenging i am criticizing the statement of uh, uh, null uh, null hypothesis they are stating like there is no significant association there is no significant difference but the theory states that the, the knowledge states uh, that there is an association so that's the question right now so again i am uh, coming to the debates uh, whether we can able to state the null hypothesis uh, or we need to state the alternative hypothesis uh, or it is been uh, stated the research hypothesis uh, to be stated and what about the hypothesis in cross sectional studies what about the hypothesis in time series design so when we do uh, cross sectional studies we do take the samples so when we take the samples we don't know about the population situation so that time we can be able to say the hypothesis uh, about the population so assumptions about the population so finally uh, we will collect the data and test the data and uh, uh, after testing we do able to understand that the situation the outcome of the research and finally we uh, get a conclusion about the research and it can be generalized in the population so in time series we do take the entire data so that time there is a dilemma again there is a debate arise can we set a hypothesis in time series design okay so time series uh, because we are taking the entire population and we do analysis of the entire data so that uh, so how can we uh, set an assumption based on the entire data means there is no samples in these uh, time series design so the, there is again there is a debate so the approaches of hypothesis formulation there are uh, these approaches are very important so when we do set the hypothesis based on these approaches so these candidates can be able to justify which approach uh, they are using to set the hypothesis there are two approaches the deductive approach and the inductive approach deductive approach means the hypothesis is evolved from a theory that means we do have a theory we do have an existing literature we do have existing theoretical underpinnings stating the clear understanding of the concept so that we need to start from the theory okay so this we if we start from theory that the, the it is known as deductive approach so when we start from the theory and we develop a hypothesis based on the theory for instance i can say an example that the efficient market hypothesis 
the efficient market hypothesis says that uh, the market prices are at random uh, and nobody can make return uh, because the market is efficient so the market update the information so uh, so that nobody can make uh, like super returns uh, in efficient market that's a theory so that theory says that the market update the information so based on the theory we can state a hypothesis but someone uh, someone contradict the theory and again there is a new theory has been evolved so we can also uh, set a hypothesis based on the new theory so uh, anyway the theory is important uh, in this deductive approach so we can start from the theory and from the theory we develop a hypothesis uh, and we collect the data and we analyze the data and after that we will get a conclusion that conclusion based on the conclusion we can confirm the theory or sometimes we can oppose the theory means when we confirm the theory that means the, the test results are in accordance with the theory if the test results contradict the theory we can state that we can we can just uh, we can just violate the theory that means the, our result uh, are against the theory and there is a new theory uh, is evolving at this stage okay so firstly you start the theory based on the theory uh, based on the theory or knowledge existing you can set a hypothesis and you collect the data and analyze the data and after testing you can be able to confirm the theory or sometimes you may reject the theory with a clear uh, clear explanation why why did you reject the theory so so that's again important significant so reasoning start with the theory and leads to hypothesis so the candidate can be able to uh, clear the situation if there is a theory if there is existing theoretical understanding if there is a knowledge you can you, you your hypothesis should be should be favorable should be in accordance with the theory that that time we cannot be able to state that there is no relationship there is no association that means if the theory is available uh, for there is a relationship theory is available for there is an association so you should not state a null hypothesis if the theory is available so that's a that's a clear understanding from this approach that is deductive approach so uh so this is uh, this slide uh, becomes more clear. So dedu deducing that is deducing hypothesis from the theory, and the formulating hypothesis in operational terms and proposing relationship between two specific variables based on the theory, and you can test uh, testing hypothesis with the application of relevant methods. These are quantitative methods such as uh, there are methods. Uh, if the testing time you know uh, you can test the hype you can you can you can derive the hypothesis you know qualitative research and quantitative research qualitative research your tools are different uh, from the quantitative research quantitative research you are <coughs> testing with the uh, statistical significance and qualitative research same time you just met uh, the case study observation different methods are again used and you examining the outcomes of the test so after the statistical test, you can check examining the outcome of the test and thus confirming or rejecting the theory. When analyzing the outcome of the test, it is important to compare research finding with the literature review findings. So you just cross examine your test results and the literature or theory. And you find that your outcomes are in, in linkage with the existing theory. That means you are in match with the theory. Uh, so your hypothesis uh, you know your hypothesis are tested as true so if if uh, you find that your test results are against the existing theory that means your hypothesis are tested as uh, a wrong that means your hypothesis you have failed to accept the hypothesis okay, you failed to accept the hypothesis that means there is a new theory uh, will come into effect that means you are modifying the theory in instances when hypothesis is not confirmed there is a new theory is evolving with proper justifications because you are your samples your test results are moving against the theory so this is the case of deductive method and another one is inductive approach 
so if you are opting inductive approach you should be careful that uh, you are in blind because uh, there is no theory available no studies available no existing theoretical underpinnings so you should have a freedom to choose a hypothesis from the observation so the observation you find that you find a pattern and based on the pattern you are forming hypothesis the hypothesis is termed as a tentative hypothesis in that time you are moving along with the observation your observation it it uh, it uh, tempted you to state that there is no relationship or there is a relationship but again i would say that your observations sh should be correct okay but your statement again there is a no relationship but there is a relationship uh, in the observation then there is a question will arise so based on the observation you find a pattern and based on the pattern you are setting tentative hypothesis and after tentative hypothesis you are just collecting the data analyzing data and testing and you are developing a new theory based on the testing results so that's a case of inductive approach okay so the inductive approach is clear you are you are you are in absence you are you are find that there is no theory no existing theoretical underpinnings etc so so that you are moving with the inductive approach based on the observation you are finding you are you are having a pattern and based on the pattern you are you know you are developing a tentative hypothesis and after testing the results you find a new theory so that theory may be a base for the future hypothesis by the future researchers okay so uh, then there is a question uh, what which one uh, which approach can be adopted the choice of the approach either deductive or inductive approach so the answer is very clear if you have theory if you have existing knowledge existing theoretical underpinnings you definitely go move along with the deductive approach and you should formulate a hypothesis based on theory so if you if you find that there is no theory available you definitely move with the inductive approach and that time you can state hypothesis based on the observation okay so this is the idea about setting of hypothesis hope you uh, understand and thank you